Welcome to this incredibly helpful video on how to win the NCA Comedy Writing Competition. My name is Dean Watson. I am the chief judge for the competition, which means I choose who wins $50 every week and who goes home empty-handed and alone. Here are the do's and don'ts of writing a winning one-liner. Do write your own jokes that you came up with. Do relate your jokes to NCA life, for example, homework or walking to school or your teacher's moustache, anything to do with school is something you can make fun of. Do write jokes that you think are funny. If you don't find it funny, nobody else will find it funny either. Do write your jokes in second or third person. An example of a joke written in second person is a joke that uses the word you, your or yours. A good way to write jokes in the second person is to imagine you're telling your joke to someone who hasn't started NCA. Two examples of jokes like this that have appeared on Learn Coach's social media are Shout out to NCA students who work weekends. If you're going to procrastinate on doing homework, might as well get paid in the meantime. And it's not about how well you did in exams, it's about how well everyone else didn't do. An example of a joke written in third person is any joke that doesn't use I, we, you, your or yours. Three examples of jokes written in third person that have appeared on Learn Coach's social media are in an NCA accounting exam, it's not cheating, it's tax fraud. And knives are not allowed in the exam room. Exceptions apply to those intending to butcher their exam. And finally, NCA is like war. Nobody wins and everybody's asking, what's it all for? Some other types of jokes we like are topical jokes and quote jokes. Topical jokes are jokes that reference something happening in the news that week and then relate it back to NCA. For example, when Donald Trump was elected president, we wrote, America equals not achieved. When John Key resigned as Prime Minister, we wrote, Resigning as Prime Minister is taking end of exam celebrations just a little too far. Quote jokes are jokes that feature a quote, either real or made up, that you then attribute to someone either real or made up. Two examples of jokes like this that have appeared on Learn Coach's social media are, All I want for Christmas is NCA results. Nobody. And today's lesson was brought to you by an out-of-date curriculum and limited resources, your teacher. Finally, do read examples on Learn Coach's Facebook and Twitter pages and try to write jokes like the ones on there. Make sure your jokes are under 140 characters. I'm sorry, but there is nobody on earth who wants to read a whole essay except your English teacher. Then go to learncoach.co.nz forward slash comedy to submit your entry. Here are the don'ts. Don't steal jokes off the internet or off other NCA meme websites. If you're submitting a joke that is already out there in the universe, I'll know. I'll know. Don't write your jokes in first person. First person means using the word I or we. So don't write something like, I think resigning as Prime Minister is taking end of exam celebrations just a little too far. Instead, write, resigning as Prime Minister is taking end of exam celebrations just a little too far. Don't swear. Swearing is something you do when your teacher's back is turned, not when you're entering the NCA comedy writing competition. Here are some other things to keep in mind. You can only submit three jokes every week, so you want to make sure they're the funniest jokes you can think of. Write a bunch of jokes and then pick the three funniest ones. If you're unsure, ask a brutally honest friend for feedback, or write them on the whiteboard at school. If you want specific feedback about how you can make your jokes funnier and give yourself the best chance of winning the $50, send me a message and I'll be happy to help. To give you an idea of what a winning one-liner looks like, here are the winning one-liners from the first nine weeks of the competition. Health class, mental well-being is important, don't stress. Every other class, here's 10 assignments due Friday. Primary school, miss three months of school to go on holiday, doesn't fall behind. High school, miss one period of calculus, fails entire year. Achieved, can sneeze in an exam at a relevant time. Merit, can sneeze with perceptive timing. Excellence, can sneeze while pondering the origin of a sneeze. NCA is more boring than this haiku. Uh, 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 uh. Oprah, you get an E, you get an E, and you get an E. NCA, too many E's, you all get M's. NCA is like a fidget spinner. It's exciting at the start, but gets boring really quickly. Not much beats hearing that your classmates haven't started the assignment yet either. Life is like a box of chocolates. You never know what you're gonna get. NCA is like an open box of favourites. You get the cherry ripes. Never going to give it up, never going to let you down, never going to take a test without Learn Coach. 
Now that you have all the details and an example of my terrible singing, get right in, claim your $50, and finally, that line on your CV that says, Winner NCA Comedy Writing Competition won't be a big fat lie.